Dumelan. I'm back. So I'm in the next part, right? And I was speaking about Shady Side and explaining the context of story. And I said, I couldn't fix it. Uh, anyway, let's just move on. That's me turning on my Mac because I need to work. All right. Anyway, whatever. <clears throat> Since the power has been restored. Oh, I said that I was going to switch off the light over there. Oh, we still going to switch off the light. Let's talk for a little bit. Hey, guys. I got about a decent amount of time. Because it just looks better. I love it. I want to live on 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 it. I want to Okay, fine. I don't know if it looks better this way or what, guys. Does it? Let's just carry on with this conversation. So here it is, then. Mm -hmm. That this chick is like, my friends didn't die in vain. Like, no, forget about it. Like, she okay? I'm going to find out what's going on with this witch. Appease her and next year, this not going to be more kids that are going to die. Because I'm going to find out what's going on with this witch. Appease her and next year, this not going to be more kids that are going to die. Like, no, like, never, you know? And because of desire, I'm going to find out what's going on with this witch. Appease her and next year, this not going to be more kids that are going to die. Like, no, like, never, you know? And because of desire, ha, ha, guys, I might be throwing this story out of whack. Now, when you've seen it on on Netflix, you will know what a grandchild brings hung there. You know what I'm saying? Mara ke hopo la fela hore. This chick had to be restored to either her finger or toho or something. And I remember that eventually, like one of the girls is staring sakona. She started getting like visions or something. Abon swa grandchild bo hore toho e guy ding tang. What's happening in my life thing? You know why? Why is are they in close proximity to sunny side de mara khabana prosperity ko shiri taunu what's going on you know she was all confused and she wanted to find out like you know and because of her deep curiosity i guess they cast her as he's staring so down she's going to be the one that's led she eventually is led to the tree she finds the tree digs up like the body of this witch she finds the finger i don't know where she finds the finger or she finds the head or something and then reconciles the head to the finger and as soon as she reconciles the head to her finger the boyfriend boyfriend by the way oh napela go no wait is we know the lgbtqia agenda she really had a boyfriend or a girlfriend anyway whatever I think is one of the people of Black Hoka Fitzing that passed away. And so because Girlfriend Ahara was murdered, then she like felt like trash and was like, you, my, my, my lady didn't die in vain. And that's what put her on this conquest. And the, um, the, there was a guy that had a crush on her that lived in Sunnyside or something. The side that is not cursed. There was a school on the side that's not cursed that uh, used to always compete with the school in Shadyside. And they always won matches while like, Shadyside lost them. Basically, one side was cursed, the other side was not cursed. But the kids every so often used to intermingle, interdate, like Romeo and Juliet type thing with the rich side and the bad side. The parents didn't approve and other kids in the school who were very classes did not approve. And so they would cause very heinous accidents. And one time the students of the, um, what you call this of the school in the rich area ne? were pursuing because after some like football match they were pursuing in a car chase the kids or the students in the school yes in the school of the shady side people and they got into a horrendous accident that basically killed like almost everybody and with this accident happening it happened at a location a site that is literally close to near the tree near the tree where that witch was hung so it's almost as if though it is this witch that caused that accident um when the border was being crossed between shady town and sunny side whatever like woo, it's story saying, eh? whatever mm. so mm. Shady town, no? Ne? Leba nebalo koko loing le the guys bako accidenting ba sunny side day. Dying at this particular scene, ne? The ones who said the one, what this girl was in the car and she survived. She got out of the car, ne? Crawling because you know she was like hurt or something. And since she was crawling and she was at that location, she started getting these dreams and visions and then was given the the real story as to Grinch up what happened for this curse to like occur type establishment thing. What was the original issue uh, type setup thing? She got a vision and a dream because she was at the site or the burial site of the witch. Goodness, like you'd have to go and figure it out, okay? The, I think the name of the story is called 1947 or 1948. 1958, it's got the title of a year. Anyway, whatever, all right? She then got plunged in a comatose state, as in Nalis Petaling or something. I can't remember what's accident. And in this comatose state, she got sent back to the 16th century where this witch was living. And she was the witch. She was in the body of the witch in this, like, 
premonition or this like like Michael J. Fox back to the future but it's back to the past vibes and she got to live out the experiences of what ultimately got that witch at the stake or what ultimately got her to be hung on a tree and it turned out to be Maka uh, and also what is what is this what, what do they call it homophobia I get really like yeah this they trying to push this whole agenda in these Netflix shows so she not only got accused of being a witch but she also was being murdered basically because she was she she and this other Chiquita were engaged in foul relations uh, with one another since they were not acceptable all the way back then. She was innocent when she died. She wasn't a witch, but there was someone that was. And it turned out that the person that was a witch. So just backtracking a little bit, the guy, ne? Uh, there is a girl who survived. Like every year, and there tends to be a soul survivor only. And in this soul survivor, and the soul survivor was now let's say like Sahurile, she's like a middle aged woman she's living by herself she still got that PTSD she lost her sister at summer camp she lost all of her friends at summer camp it was like a whole massacre you know what I mean and this chick consults her she goes Gwen, um, Alo Bualena, on some tell me what happened in 1948 please tell me what happened in 1947 whatever the year might be and this chick explains what goes down what went down in that 1948 1947 and there is a guy in the show that is he is a cop and he is a sweet guy like everybody just loves him like he doesn't look like anything intense right and he's got strained relations with this chick with the, the 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 one who survived the sole survivor name and they can't understand why Ronaldo strained relations why did he she doesn't understand why he suddenly cut her off because they used to date when they were kids and he didn't you know he also rescued her from she was like mm, like this dude was the one or chinchiling waba zombie wabula la bonke la bantwana no he he belonged to a family that was killing all of these kids and then he suddenly rocked up you know when this, this chick and her sister were being killed and he somehow managed he managed somehow to conquer to overcome the zombies and so she was the sole survivor but not without first getting multiple stab wounds in her body type establishment thing so if at all you're gonna go and rescue a woman because she's a damsel in distress you would imagine that you would stay friends with her especially considering Nelejola, you were dating so he just cut her off he ghosted her he suddenly just ghosted the living daylights out of her and years down the line she couldn't understand but how do you rescue me from all these calamities and then ghost me and on top of that not only did he ghost her he also denied what happened he not only ghosted her but he also denied that this thing ever happened that there were ever ghosts he wrote it off that whole massacre as there was a serial killer and we still haven't caught him he refused to admit that there was something ominous he refused to speak of the experiences to understand that were very paranormal he was he basically allowed the whole town to write this chick off as crazy to write her off as insane all right so let's move on to the next part